so now I'm going to show you a strumming pattern that's pretty common that requires a very quick uh, down up. Let me a lot of this uh, during this class. It requires a lot of uh, down up movement to play it. Um, it sounds like this. So you probably heard it, like on a, especially on acoustic songs. They kind of each chord change has this little. Dun -dun -dun. Uh, the song that comes to mind is a Smashing Pumpkins song called Disarm. I'm not sure if you're familiar with them, but it feels like that. But every time he switches chords, he's doing that up, down, crazy up, down. Watch my wrist. My arm is barely moving. Um, so we're we're just going to work on that with muted strings, but that is one example. Uh, just muted strings to make it a little bit easier. And like I said, it's, the guitar is a little bit more forgiving when you don't have strings ringing out. Um, check the Q&A real quick. Okay. So let's just do that real quick. So it's, it's just a real quick down, up, down. That's all it is. But it's so fast, it has, requires that wrist and it requires up strums and down strums. It couldn't be... It could, but it sounds stiff, right? Um, it's inefficient and it sounds stiff, but with the... It's got more elegance to it and it, and it sounds on the beat and it sounds good. Um, if you want to try this with a chord, go for it. Uh, just any chord that uses all the strings. Like a G or an E major. Um, but if you're... If you're having trouble making chords or if the strumming I would suggest is the muted strings. Just kind of eliminate the left hand altogether and just focus on your right hand. So that's what we're working on. Loose wrist. That's really the key here. And you want your pick not so tight so it can give a little bit so it can kind of bend this direct direction, right? The pick kind of facing down, the pick facing up when it comes up. If it was too stiff, you know, break a string or something. It need that slightly looser grip on the pick. So it has some give on it. Also, I use heavy picks, thick picks. Um, if you use lighter ones, they're a little bit more forgiving and they, they kind of give already. Also, if you don't have a pick at all, I'm not, like I said, I can't see you guys. Um, you can just pretend your finger is a pick and kind of use your fingernails like it's a beak. I'm assuming all of you have guitar picks. If not, they're very cheap, but they're also very easy to lose. So I would suggest get a lot of them. Okay, cool. Uh, 